願いしますねどうも CGI うわぁ白血球だ本当容赦ねえな血まみれじゃん Whereas naturally you'd want them to be lenient when it comes to invading germs that are trying to kill you? そっちいたかいないこ、これが白血球おい Knowing that you're being looked at when you're facing the other direction, even if you are a fancy white blood cell guy. Also, though, clearly this is the red blood cell's domain since they were everywhere, all over the place, before the germs turned up, so naturally she'll still be stood around there after said germs have been taken out. Also, also, though, where was she just now? Also, 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 though, originally there was a mixture of white and red blood cells on either side of the newly created hole, but when we're shown the bug up above watching, everyone is all on just one side of it now. Okay, they can take their first and probably only sent off here for this pure bit of comedy goodness. Also, coming back to this at episode 3, I noticed my boy Jotaro is in this too, so take 50% of the sin off for that. <laughs> this incredibly cute little platelet tells them that the road is closed and they can't go any further on, but they go straight on and help them pass the barricade immediately afterwards anyway. He asks as though there aren't quite a few of them stood around in the nearby area. Saying someone's immune system cell name instead of talking normally cliche. Bye bye, Kinda. Why does everyone salute a deadly germ, though? No, the other thing that she clearly isn't carrying. Asking your senpai if you can follow them to the location that you need to go to and then walking off on your own, completely undermining the whole follow them part of the plan. For the last and first of the second, no! He knows she's still there without looking! Shockingly, all of these white blood cells managed to get blood on their left calves! <laughs> Even though all they'd have to do is crouch, but who knows, maybe white blood cells can't do that. I don't know. Definitely didn't look that big just now. When you're scared and naturally spin around, but then very unnaturally donkey kick the shizzle out of a trash can behind you. <laughs> Thank god you were there though, or they might not have figured that one out, bro. He says, forgetting that Narita-san told us it's been a week of them fighting the flu virus non-stop. The hell is this guy doing? CGI man got stuck! Yeah, that's why they're using each other's names, or in this case, bodily titles or whatever. But yeah, like in all other cases, obviously they do know each other because of those reasons. It works in this anime too, blood or no blood, you feel me? <laughs> do, do you want to take it then? He blocks her and the dude from the attack in front of them and is pushed back a little, but then the other two disappear. 
Exo and then inhale cliche. <coughs> The debris around her has changed positions! He says it had to come, didn't it? And again this year, yet they labelled it as unknown on their screens. Not gonna lie, this poor old CGI bloke looks like he's in agony. Oh, very slow falling paper. どんな事情があろうと、職務放棄は許されない。俺たちの宿命。宿命。宿命。How did she know he was behind it when it's obviously massive? It should really be noted here that when their teacher was explaining what to do, she never once said that they had to run away to somewhere, just to run and hide anywhere. So not quite sure why right after that the kid said, I bet she'll get lost if she's chased, and now she's saying, I can't make it as a red blood cell, but essentially she's done literally what the teacher told her to do. Jesus Christ, dude! Quite obviously, yes it is! He's even wearing the hat, uniform, and just mentioned how he hasn't seen you in a while! Unlikely that she would be rattled when it was clearly her plan to get you there and draw out your true form, why would that rattle her? Surprisingly, these two don't hear the commotion in the same building as the bad guy smashed through a couple of walls fighting the lady. Assumptions! She never said that she knew the whole time. She just said under her breath, how tense can you be? And there he is, when he asked where Cell was. She never indicated knowing who he was all along. Only thing that was clear was that she had been fighting it. These guys are still chanting their heave ho type of chant and yet the convoy has stopped moving. Giving yourself away before you attack cliche, even doing that inside a body is a sin. Not gonna lie, feels a little odd you trying to make us feel sympathy for cancer. God, I hate it when my leg stops working when I stop mid-run. Yes! She literally just said that! What the hell is wrong with this guy? Even though he would have always gotten injured tackling this germ that happened to be right there where he was regardless. No, he's giving him a cuddle! Fuck! Me! Very rare, genuine anime sin here. Why we gotta keep getting these reminders so often? We've been reminded of each of them like three times over by now, I should think. Discount Kazuma from Norigami! <laughs> Very creepy out of context! She was in the bush with it, but when Glasses completes his attack, she's in the middle of the path.
he feels the need to leave his room in the middle of the night to do this kind of exercising. Starting your sentence in your head and finishing it out loud, greatly confusing the poor lad in front of you. Nothing says moron like bonding with a new friend and changing your outlook on life in order to continue to grow and become stronger. What is this guy a freaking robot? He said the exact same thing in a previous episode when she said the exact same thing. Why are so many of them hanging out in the sewers at the same time, though? She says like she can make out which one is specifically her, given that they're all wearing the same gear. I wonder how they managed to stretch this episode out! <laughs> oh, extremely slow reaction to him clearly being behind you! This guy's so damn hot, his hand temporarily melts into this door! Uh, this goes on for quite some time! Good thing the TV screen thing is the only stuff that managed to get not at all damaged. <laughs> These two don't notice each other right away in spite of all of the shouting and being really obviously visible to one another. <laughs> Should probably give him that oxygen, right? It really feels like he needs the oxygen you brought for him though, innit? Maybe you guys should hand over the oxygen you literally brought for them? Give them the f***ing boxes! Nathan Byrne, Bird Without a Word, Aiden White, PK Fan, Ali 50, Ryan Anderson, Israel Caldera, Chris Harris, Jonas Schaal, Manolo Sosego Munoz, Luis Hernandez, Kim Munt, Jason Davies, Yuki Ali, Manuel Morales, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Blitz Cloud, Horror Keeper, Steelers, Kimi O, Sentimento, Jupper 6263, Master Tank, Kevin Nelter, Brendan Creer, Storm 970, Mr. Waffle 64, Karsh Rosalman, Jordan Samuels, Sean Graves, The Epic Amanda, Crimson Shadows, Kyle Farmer, Buzzbot 3000, Adora Blue, 